Okay, everyone, welcome back to Game of Thrones. In fact, welcome back to a brand new version of Game of Thrones. Yes, that's right, those amazing models out there have improved it. Um, they keep doing amazing things with mods, and we keep enjoying them. Now, we did put up a faction vote, and the Boltons won. Um, House Tully did, in fact, have a late surge. Didn't quite make it, though. And House Aaron finished third. Um, so it's the flayed man we're going to be playing as. Or we're not going to be playing as a flayed man. We're going to be playing as a faction that has a flayed man on their shields. Right. You win or you die. Okay. Uh, hopefully we win. Now, I've never played the Boltons. Despite the fact that they are my favorite. Or at least um, they're up there. Um, so I don't know how they play and again this is another new version so we're in for a treat aren't we uh, we're going to go very hard very hard don't worry about not being able to see the victory conditions because there is a brand new script in the mod so that we can actually see them very easily all right we're lacking in numbers and resources that is actually not the worst part of this faction uh, as far as playstyle, which you're about to see. So we'll click on start and then I can actually turn the music up. Uh, because the opening screen does have the Game of Thrones music on there. That's King's Landing, isn't it? I think. Alright. The King's Justice. Uh, the confession of his betrayal was not able to save the life of Lord Eddard Stark. In spite of the objections of his mother, Queen Cersei Lannister, and of the small council, the young King Joffrey Baratheon has decided to sentence him to death. Okay, no mercy. Now that the head of Eddard Stark is on a pike, there's no chance of peace between the Lannisters and the Starks. We can only expect a long and bloody war in Westeros. Right, noble house of Bolton. You control the Boltons of the Dreadfort. Your victory conditions are the following. Hold 15 regions. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like many, but you'll see why it's going to be tough. Destroy House Stark. Now, technically, we don't have to destroy it because I looked through the script and it says we actually have to outlive the Starks. So there is a way of winning. We're actually going after them yourselves. And defend the Dreadfort. Take control of the key settlements of the north, Winterfell, White Harbour, and Moat Kaelin. Um, Moat Kaelin is held by Greyjoys. White Harbour and Winterfell is held by the Starks. And then we become the Warden of the North. Right, let me go and turn up the sound then. And we'll see about that. All right, I have to do control in. There's my little scribe. He tells us what's going on in the world because he gets secret information. All right. Um, Your will, sire. All right. Do I have any agents? I've got a princess. Highlands. Oh, she's in the settlement. She is, isn't she? Alice Carstark. Right. Now, um, put that on medium. Diplomacy. We're at war with Greyjoys, Lannisters, Baratheon of King's Landing, House Targaryen. But we are allied um, to the Starks and the Tullys. And the Night's Watch. We will not last very long. Right. Arnold Carstark. Arnold. Right, we do need that money, you'll see why. Now, the big problem with the Boltons is the fact that we only have three settlements and we're split up. We've got two up in the north, uh, Carhold and the Dreadfort. And our third is right here at Harren Hall, all the way down in the south. Uh, we start out with 10,000, but we're not going to be making much. Um, now, to our west, we've got plenty of Tullys and even a Stark settlement, I think, over there. Um, I'm not sure if there have been any map changes in this version. 
of its revenge. Also, many of the characters actually have their voice lines from the TV show. Um, many more than were in the previous version. Hopefully that won't give us any problems. But this whole area, blasted Baratheons and Lannisters. Right. In fact, there's a Lannister territory, Golden Lion, right there. Uh, if we follow the road... Not the yellow brick road, but there's two roads. I'm guessing, actually three is in there. I'm guessing it's up there somewhere. Right. <clears throat> is it now? Right, there's our lord. Uh, lord of the Dreadfort. Roose Bolton. Vargo Holt. I always want to say Holt. But it's Holt. Alright. We come up there we can see what's going on and unfortunately we've got Tywin Lannister Lord of Castle Rock far from home because Castle Rock is over there but he's got almost full stack well that ain't good is it there's a lot of Carstarks in our faction isn't there right well I don't know if we shall slaughter him oh um, Kevin the heir, the brother of Tywin, isn't he? And uncle to Cersei and Tyrion. Kevin. Didn't he take over as head of the small council when Tywin got killed? I think he did. Or he took over command of the armies. Right, we got two Lannister armies there and Darry. Also another problem is the fact that all of our settlements are castles or citadels. We don't have any towns. Cities zero. Castles three. And we're going to be up against it right from the get-go, aren't we? Hmm. And then up here. Nope. Oh. There's my boy, Ramsey. Oh, I love Ramsey. He knew what he wanted and he knew how to go after and get it. He was not a nice person, but he wasn't living in a particularly nice place. And you had to make your own opportunities if you wanted an advancement. Or you could spend the rest of your life living in the shadows of great people and hopefully they will throw you some scraps. Right. Yeah, now there should be some rebel settlements out here. Because there was when I played as the Greyjoys. Right. So, my one and only princess. Now, we're far from anyone that we can actually make any alliances with. Because we've got the alliance with the Night's Watch and the Starks. Um, we'd have to come all the way down here. Ah, oh, look. It is the neck, isn't it? Right there. You can see it's like raised. We don't have any ships, so we can't even sail around anywhere, can we? We need more troops. I don't think we have money to really invest, but I would love to get a spy when we can. We need two levels. We need jails and dungeons to get the spies. They take two turns. They take two, 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 three. Fast. Oh. <clears throat> We're going to be hemorrhaging money from the get go. Two turns. Let's grab them. Yeah, it's going down pretty rapidly. We might have a big battle at Darry. Right from turn one. Right, in that case I'm going to send the Bolton Knights in there, which will reduce that even more. I don't think there's anything else we can do on turn one. Uh, it's going to take us forever to try to get peace treaty with anyone, or to get an alliance, as we only have that one princess. Right, more Lannisters coming up, right next to Harrenhal. Now, if I remember correctly from 
my previous campaigns where somebody had to point it out. This is known as the Eye of the Gods, is it? This lake? Eye of the Gods? Right. Oh, he's a good general, but then we won't have anyone to do diplomacy. You know what? It's going to take her forever, like I said, to get anywhere, so we might as well make use of her. And accept him. Take Rebel Settlement, Hornwood. Right, Roos, Ramsey, Ramsey. Ah, we're next to it. We get some units. It's not really what we need. And he's taken over there. Did you know? Ah, that's interesting. I don't think I was in the previous version. Um, I've seen that in the Zardom's Total War mod. Maybe also in Broken Crescent, but I think that's new in this version. Oh, we're hemorrhaging money like 1600. Well, it is 1600. Uh, oh. Well, we've got extra units. At least they all got free upkeep. And we'll have an extra general to come down, but I think Ramsey can take Hornwood. Uh, how long it can it hold? Five turns. Hornwood Hunters. Northern Halberds. Right, they did not come up, but who do we have there? Clegane. Gregor Clegane. Oh, I always get those ones wrong. Now, is he the Hound or the Mountain? Isn't he the one who was uh, experimented on by that maester? He's got three cavalry, Outriders and Mouse and Knights. Could we even take him out? Roost? Do I really want to get Roost killed this early on? Um, we've got Spearmen. Which would be a good counter to those, wouldn't they? And we've got to get a battle in. Let's go after them. See if we'll put up a fight. Yeah, it is the mountain. Alright, Sandor. Sandor was the hound then. Sandor Clegane. And there's the fire priestess, or the priestess of the fire god. Uh, Melisandre, isn't it? Bolton Longbowman. I thought they might have been able to put down stakes, but apparently not. I don't have anyone who can put down stakes. Alright. Are they going to charge forwards or not? They are coming forwards. Might take them off of a uh, skirmish. All the men at arms. These are heavy infantry now, apparently. We need to pull them back though. Haven't killed any of them, have we? No, oh, couple. There's no particularly large bodyguard. I think that was Clegane. Oh, I'm sure he's going to have a unique model though, right? Let's slow it down to half speed so we can Try to find him. He should be there. There he is. There he is. Did we kill him in any previous campaigns or not? I'm sure we must have. He's got a 
big sword. That was a big overhand chop, wasn't it? Right. Get to firing. Are we looking? Oh, you should be able to hit him. Yeah, you can. Sounds like it's new music, though, doesn't it? Yeah, you're not all moving together. You should be able to take them. Oh, um, they could have done shield wall. Didn't realise that. What about you? Nope. His bodyguard isn't taking many casualties. This one's getting killed off pretty quickly, though. Is he going to break and run? Someone's trying to sneak off. Oh, he's coming up. Dave, you're going to reach them because they're going to be faster. But let's see if we can kill him on this charge. Although he's going to be up there, isn't he? Only half the enemy force remains. Where is he? There he is. Hit him. Poke him with a stick. Alright, somebody got through to them. Take much damage. He's down to seven. He's trying to get away. Come down to four. You go into the uh, Lanston Knights. Trying to get away, are you? Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. We have set the we killed the mountain. Well, they're going to try and break and run, are they? We've taken quite a few casualties. Alright, get off of fire at will. Had a few more running away over there. They may catch up to them. You got 15 prisoners. They bugged out there. Well, Roos, our leader, got some experience. Ran into the tree. Doesn't help. 
I don't think he's going to catch anyone else. Yeah. Lost a third of our army. Got 6% back. And we killed the mountain. Ooh, there's the uh, Night King. It is? No, it's a White Walker, isn't it? But it's not the Night King, I don't think. No mercy, you're talking to the Flayed Man. Alright, get in there. Yeah, it's really going down, isn't it, our relations with our enemies? Alright, still losing. Alright. Well. We're going to need whatever we can get. Because we've got three armies up there. Um, it's going to give us an extra five units. Alright. Ah, they are not close enough to come in. Amory Lorch. Those are actually quite weak. Or when I used them, they were quite weak. I think we go after him. You kill your enemy. Did your father not teach you that boy? Alright, boy. Yeah, I think we go after him and assault Darry. <clears throat> um, because it might block him. There's Tyrion, Tywin, and Kevin. It'd be nice to kill them off, wouldn't it? Wonder if there's any more generals in there. because uh, there's also Lancel. And uh, a few more Lannisters. Right. I swear in the previous version that the Bolton Longbowmen could put down stakes. I guess not, though. Bolton Spearman. Um, three, four, five, six, seven units. Hmm. But we'll have an extra general coming. Right. Do we try to recruit some more up there? I think we have to. Time to recruit two turns for the Bolton Men at Arms. Plus they're expensive, aren't they? Nine, one thousand, nine hundred. Two turns on them. We don't have a lot of archers around here, do we? To defend. Right, guys, well, hopefully many, many thousands of you tuned in to watch this very first episode. If not, many, many hundreds. Well, okay, maybe a couple dozen. All right, at least one guy showed up to watch, right? Yeah. Whoever you are, thank you. We'll back, be back with part two in probably three days' time, because that's usually the schedule on this channel. All right. So, thanks for those who vote for the Boltons. If you didn't vote for the Boltons, don't worry, your chance will come.